They're one of the wonders of the ancient world, the Moai, or the stone statues of Rapa Nui, known by many as Easter Island. One of the greatest mysteries has been how these statues, many weighing several tons, were moved from the quarry they were carved at to altars miles away. A University of Hawaii professor and the National Geographic may have solved it. To see the huge moai or stone statues of Rapa Nui takes your breath away. Now some have theorized they were moved on rollers made of tree trunks, but former Rapa Nui governor and part-time Hawaii resident Sergio Rapu felt otherwise. We met Rapu when KITV traveled to Easter Island in 1998. In our tradition, they say that, that they were make the ancestor figures bigger and bigger. Rapu has spent his lifetime studying the statues and believed, as their legend tells, the Moai walked. UH anthropology professor Terry Hunt believed there was something to that. He's conducted field work on the island for more than a decade and with funding from the National Geographic Society sought to prove the Moai walked. Using a mold, they built a 10-foot tall, 5-ton replica of a Moai. Oh, Last year, they took it to Kualoa Ranch to test their theory. It was documented for a National Geographic special. After two days and many failed attempts, it worked. They used three ropes. The one on the back kept the statue from falling. The two on the side were used to rock it. Letting it fall forward slightly and rocking from side to side, he actually takes a step, 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 and as you can see in the video, um, remarkable, the statue walks, um, just as Easter Island uh, traditions have told us. Hunt says 18 people were able to easily move the five-ton statue 100 yards in 40 minutes. It was unbelievable. I, I cannot tell you how spectacular it was to see that. A lot of us just got tears in our eyes because it was so spectacular. It's the cover story of the latest issue of National Geographic. You'll also be able to see more of this video in a National Geographic special coming up in November. Terry Hunt has also been honored for his book, The Statues That Walk.